walking back to camp after missing that buck. And I can't stress it enough to all these three things that I know I need to ingrain to become a successful hunter. Which I have a long ways to go, but it will help you guys tremendously too. And number one, hunt till the last freaking day, the last hour, the last minute. Hunt hard because I hadn't even seen a three point. I'd seen a forky, but I hadn't seen one freaking deer, really, a good buck for four days. This is my fourth day and I almost called it quits and decided to know I'm gonna hike all the way back in there. I'm gonna regret not doing it if I don't and I need to just to say I did. Today is the day I had to get out of here. I could have hunted on my way out. I decided to go back in there for the freaking fourth day in a row to try to turn this buck up, which I had for three and I freaking did on the fourth day. So one, persistence, never give up, hunt hard. Number two, patience is a freaking virtue. Everybody tells it to me. Rick Palmer, freaking Dione, Travis Nowotny, and my main dude, Zach Owens, tells me, no matter what, wait it out. Wait it out, wait it out, wait it out. I don't care if your leg's falling asleep, foot's falling asleep, body hurts, your abs are sore from sitting there long enough. Just wait it out, no matter what, until that buck stands up or something plays in your favor. Because that is, so I could count so many times I've missed opportunities trying to shoot a deer or an antelope or an elk in its bed. The opportunities for failure are a lot greater. Just wait it out. Wait for them to stand, wait for them to feed. Wait for the freaking thermals to even switch and have them stand up. I don't care, you gotta wait. Patience, patience, patience. Don't rush things. Number three is, is practice, practice, practice. Got my face mask. Practice angles, practice kneeling shots. I do not practice kneeling shots because I'm typically standing when I'm killing elk. Here, when they're bedded down, I typically have to crawl in and be bedded down myself. And I do not practice enough with my foot falling asleep or my entire leg falling asleep or my abs sore or my arm falling asleep from holding my bow so long. Practice the hardest positions, kneeling down and take those angle shots on targets. Just practice, practice all those scenarios as much as you can. Once you have your bow dialed in at the range, now it's all about shooting angles. Get a 3D target. Practice those angles kneeling because I do not do it enough and it freaking shows. The caliber of animals I could be showing you guys now if it wasn't for practicing more would be that. And I almost shoot my bow every day. So keep those freaking lessons in mind. Keep those tips. Keep those, whatever you want to call it, in mind this year, for next year, and every year. Patience, hard work, practice. Can't stress it enough. I would be showing you guys a nice monster mule, a velvet buck, if I did that enough. And I consider myself not that experienced. And it goes to show. Good luck out there.